Good morning children. Now we know what is Indian system of numeration and what is international system of numeration. So let us write numbers using commas in both the systems. Can you tell just by looking at the number which numeral system is followed here? If you remember in the international system of numeration, commas are used to mark thousands, millions, billions, etc. Let us see how. This number is following the international numeral system. Why? Let us see. This is the unit period. We start from the rightmost digit and three places form the unit period and there is the first comma next we have thousand period if you see the next three digits come under thousand period and we put the second comma then what do we have we have million period here too the period consists of three places left of thousand period so we get the third comma here which marks the starting of billions so this number can be read as 1 billion 742 million 434 thousand and 500 now what about Indian system of numeration? Here, commas are used to mark thousands, lakhs and crores. Let us see how. In this number, we have commas placed according to the periods in Indian numeral system. Let us see how. This is the units period which consists of ones, tens and hundreds places. So we get the first comma marking the thousands. Next what do we have? We have thousands period. Look here it consists of only two places left of units period. So we get the second comma here which marks the beginning of lakhs. And which is the third period? The third period is of lakhs period and if you see here again we just have two places here for the lakhs period. So here is the third comma which marks the beginning of crores. So this number can be read as 8 crore 25 lakhs 14,000 and 75. So now you know how commas are placed in both the Indian numeral system and the international system. So coming back to our question, can you figure it out now? Which numeral system is being followed here? So this is the unit period and we get the first comma. So the next period is of thousands period and there is a comma and if you look there are only two places or two digits in this period which means it is Indian numeral system. So here we see the number is written according to the Indian numeral system and how do we read it? It is equal to 7 crores 53 lakh 18,000 and 90. Now let us read the same number according to international numeral system and put the commas according to it. So starting from the rightmost digit we know there is unit period which consists of three places followed by thousand period which also consists of three places and the next three digit are of 
millionth period. So now we know how to read the number. So first we'll put the commas according to the periods. First comma after the units period. Then next comma after the thousands period. So the number becomes seventy five million three hundred eighteen thousand and ninety. So now you know how to place commas according to both the systems and also how to read the numbers based on the commas according to both the system. That's all for now. Bye bye children.